Hello guys, this is Al from Open Source Channel. Welcome to a new episode. Today I'm going to talk about a ticketing system that you can install easily on your Docker. I done a tutorial a long time ago, about nine years ago, as you can see here on top. Oh, I stick it. I had about 40,000, well, 39,000 views and I've been asked if I got something preferred for docker i mean os ticket is still the software i like to install for you know for myself for some you know someone who asked me for and it's quite stable and it's been there for a long 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 time so it's the one i go to but if someone asks me would i choose something at the moment for docker i have found a great ticketing ticketing system called Peppermint is very simple to install and is very simple to use. Now, without any delay, let's go and have a look on the GitHub. Now, all the information in the description below. All right, so here we go the GitHub page for Peppermint Lab, and everything you need to know is here. Now, this is the code we're going to use and install it. We're going to use Portainer. All right, so all we're going to do is just copy and paste into a new stack before we go to do that so i'm going to go through a little bit with the code here um, i'm going to use a version 3.1 we're going to install the database postgres the image is the latest and the restart is always the, this is the actual volume again i'm going to change some of this now for the password and user make sure you create something more consistent you know something more secure you don't want the password as one two three and four this is quite important and then we go the client side as well and so that's the database this is the client side okay we're going to install the paper labs peppermint latest and we're going to use the port 5000 before you do that make sure uh let's go back here you are not using port 5000 already i already installed it so but anyway it's exactly the same process you won't be missing anything restart on failure again we're going to use the database postgres port 5000 now again this and this got to be exactly the same as this all right so the os is postgres the password is one two three four Peppermint is for the username. Again, if you change this, you change this as well. Then you got the base URL, in this case, uh, localhost and the port 5000. For me, it will be my URL. In this case, I'm using the an internal IP, as you can see here. Now, let me go and let me click on Peppermint. And let's go to the editor. Now, as you can see here, we got what I paste and copied. I changed a couple of things. I changed this volume to Peppermint and the data DB. I left as it is, as I already got the folders ready. And here, for example, if I do LS, let's do LS again. We got the information installed here. We got, and if I do CD data, for example, and then we do LS, Everything, all the information database will be stored inside this folder, all right? So make sure the folder exists. If not, you can create it. Uh, I believe also that if they're not there, can be automatically be um, created by the system. I like to create them myself, all right? So I want to make sure you know about this. So once you app it and everything, you click deploy. deploy. So let's go back here. Let's go to stacks. So you press add new stack, you add the name, in this case will be Peppermint. You paste the code, and then when you're happy, you just deploy the stack. Once that's completed, you will see in your portainer containers, the actual stack up and running. You will see this one here, that is the front end, and then you see the database Postgres. We're going to click on the 5000 and we're going to open up here. Now, let me go. Let's see if I can actually go. 
let me go and log out so to log in for the first time if we go back here is this is the admin that's login and that is 1234 is the password right so where are we here we go so let's paste that in here and let's do one two three and four i haven't changed that yet so that's the first thing you want to do now if we go to view profile you go to password and here you want to change the new password and make sure it is something strong all right once you update it you just click update as a simple as that so this is the admin side if i go on users you can see there are users here you can click on users and you can create new users you can make an admin if you want to do that's how simple it is all right then you got the clients that's nothing to do with users okay because logically when you create a new user you can be a admin or people working for you this is are not your clients by the way okay so your clients if you want to add them are going to be on clients so you, you can actually click new client and add the client okay we got settings again we only got web hooks you can add a web hook if you wanted to right i know people have added peppermint with wordpress there are ways to do that as well let me know what you think and see if i can make a tutorial about that then we got histories of all the tickets we got the tickets and the dashboard and of course we can create a new ticket again we can do that through via the admin side as well now let's see something else here let's see um, let me log out a second now as you can see here you can only log in now i've been trying to look around to be honest guys and i can find a way to register to automatically register you know the client so i'm not 100 sure but it looks like it that you got to do by the back end you got to create the login and password for your clients all right by going to clients and press new client um perhaps this is again another way to do it is you send the email here and they'll receive an email where they can actually click on the link and automatically they can set up the first login and create a new password that is perhaps the right way to do it okay but i couldn't find much information in regards of a client registering themselves rather than us creating the request okay so that's exactly that's what i you know i went through the documentation guys and again please go for the code documentation if you want and let me know in the doc, you know in the description below if you find a, a better way or a different way perhaps you know you find it i couldn't find it to be honest so apart from now let's go back here there's no match really to show it's very simple very clean and fast and, and i must be honest with you even on a low server this will run pretty well so guys thank you so much for joining me today i hope you enjoyed it sorry about not creating so much content lately is you know i'm trying to get rid of the the, the so i'm so busy that i'm trying to get rid of the channel if you're interested leave send me a dm you know just go to about and view my email and send me an email if you want to we can have a discussion but apart from that i'm trying not to post one every couple of weeks maybe three weeks i don't know but you know that's it that's what's going to be for now thanks again guys and i'll see you next time